Hi everyone, it's Simon from Down Under in Australia, <laughs> Melbourne, Victoria. Finally, the Lord's put the spirit on me to go live and not worry about what people think, it's just too damn bad. Because we're in the last days and everything we've lived for and everything that God called me to is coming about. Finally, it started. Can't believe it after all this time. So Lord Jesus just inspired me because when we were young we got jerked into a group that um, conned us into a new nation, right? So, but, but they were carnal. They were using um, carnal, um, just like the faith and prosperity people. And we all got sucked in. Oh, we're going to start a new nation for Jesus. Woohoo! So yeah, and we really believed in it, man, for nearly 10 years. And we live by faith. We did it. And now the time is coming. It's pretty much here where Christians are going to have to live by faith or go to hell. I've never preached like this before, ever. I'm not a sin hell fire preacher. But Jesus says, do not take the mark of the beast so you can go and buy and sell. So that means if this is true what's happening and I believe it is, we're very close to Jesus coming back and he just put in my heart and brain and reminded me he is going to bring his new nation. So everything I've lived for and died for and sacrificed for and paid for is coming true. So now I've got the fire in my belly. Woohoo! Yeah, it's true. So we're on we're on the cusp of the last days, the latter days, the end times, and it's the most incredible, very, very important time in history because it's a changeover from the times of the Gentiles to the times of Israel, the restoration of the kingdom to Israel! That's what Jesus is going to do when he comes back. He's going to restore the kingdom to Israel. And that isn't the silly little people over there in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem and this, those carnal cities. It's the spiritual kingdom of the believers and the souls of Jesus Christ. And the test and the, the victory and the trial is you have to be separate from the world. We are separate. We always have been. Jesus picked us out to be a separate nation. Woohoo! I don't know if I've got anyone listening here, but I don't care. I'm recording this. And it's the truth. Jesus said, I am the light of the world and the light of life. And he who has Jesus has the light of life. All this baloney about people running around depressed. It's all a giant con to get you into drugs and all their uh, attitudes and stuff that they do to your body. It's all a load of baloney. Jesus said, I am the light of life. So when we get into Jesus, darkness runs away. So we've all been conned. Everyone's been conned. There's been a giant con going on. Because you know what? Jesus is the light of the life of the world. And he has been actually, the light has been big. And the churches have grown huge. And we've had it, had the light. And now Satan's pissed off and he wants to take the whole kingdom. He's stealing the world. He's stealing all the people. And you know in Australia he's got 90 to 95%. And I've always known it because it's in the churches. They are taken over. They don't know, they don't even love Jesus' words. They don't even know his words. They're so into the government, it makes you sick. It's sickening how people worship and pray for the government. The government doesn't love you. The government is not the kingdom of God. Wakey, wakey. Jesus Christ is king and he's coming back. And we need to get the fire in the belly. Because you know what? The only people that aren't going to take the mark 
are the people who know the Word of God and believe in the Word of God. Because you know what? They're all dropping like flies. I see them in the um, groups, unvaxxed, unvax this, unvax that, we're not taking the vax. And then, oh, my husband wants to play golf. Oh, he's going to go and get the vax on Friday so he can play golf. <laughs> what a joke. I am sick of people who are into causes and then when it comes to sacrificing and paying the price, they bomb out. I've seen it. But you know what? I've never bombed out. And I have had every opposition to try and destroy me. And that's what he's prepared me for. I don't know what he's going to do. But now I've got the fire in my belly. Jesus is coming back. His new nation, the kingdom of Christ, the thousand year reign, and the end of time as we know it now, and the end of the world's governments, we're just about there. But we've got to go through this trial, difficult period. It's going to be a time of trial and testing. And falsely, all the churches teach, yo, oh, we won't have to go through that. Jesus will come and put us in a cloud and we'll sit in a guitar and play in, in a cloud nine in heaven. Bull crap, no they won't. You've got to go through the fires of the trials of the tests to refine the gold. When the gold gets refined, all the dross is burned out and the purity comes. And that's why the Chinese church is so pure because they get persecuted, man. They die for their faith. And now all these Nambi Pambi Christians, we're being asked to do the same thing. We are being asked to risk our lives. And that's, if you love Jesus, you're going to do that, aren't you? Well, do you love Jesus? Well, really? Well, but you're not prepared to make a sacrifice? You're not like, what's going on? He said, follow me, take up your cross, deny yourself. He who saves his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. <clears throat> they don't believe it. it. It's like, I can't believe it. I'm just shocked. You know, actually they're deceivers and lies because they don't believe the Bible. Because all this is in the Bible. If you believe the Bible, then yeah, it's easy. You just believe in the Bible. If you don't believe the Bible, don't pretend. It's worse. You're just as bad as them. You're going to be out with the sorcerers and the cheats and the liars. It's the same thing. Because one sin, one, one unbelief, is, is like the same as murder. It gets treated, you're lost. It's, it's not, it's to do with faith. Jesus saves us. There's nothing we can do to save ourselves. Only Jesus. He took away the sin of the world. So, you know, a murderer can be saved just as easily as a baby who never did anything wrong. And that baby needs to be saved too. So, you know, and Jesus taught all this over and over and over. It's in all the Gospels, all the principles. You can work, you can save yourself and work hard and, and all, along, all through the burden of the heat of the day and then the people at the end of the day didn't do any work and Jesus taught it. And they still get saved equally and then all the workers who worked all along hard during the day, they all complain. Oh, we all worked hard during the day. And Jesus said, well, I saved you, didn't I? I, I hired you for a penny or whatever it was for the day's work. And um, so, yeah. That, those principles are there, man. It's all the way through. And so this all is leadership baloney. People aren't higher than other people. We're equal in Jesus. I've been going on about it. They don't want to know. People don't listen. So, but it's just too bad because even if only three or four percent, it's still thousands. Well, you know, whether they're lying about the figures, 95 percent, they reckon, are, are being falling down and taking the mark. What's going to come next? So, you know, and they've had the gospel. Everyone knows the gospel. But, but they just want their food and their cozy comfort. Nobody wants to pay a price. But, but that's because they don't know the Bible because in the Bible, everyone who loves the light and the truth has to pay a price because there's enemies out there. All right, I'm going to stop now because I don't know if anyone's watching. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Receive Jesus today and join in his kingdom because you can. That's right. Doesn't matter if you lived your whole life like a piece of whatever. If you come to Jesus now, he saves you. And there were people like that. And they will be strong in the kingdom who are gonna survive and fight through um, what, what's coming. Because we've got persecution coming, man. Persecution, big time. What, what's happening now is not much. So hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. G'day, guys.